Hello, my name is Eric, and today I'm going to show you how to set the flow limiter on a PVG 150 and a PVG 180. I'm going to use this PVG 100 as an example. The flow adjuster for the uh, two displacements are going to be identical. It's just a number of turns that will be different. So this is the flow adjuster, and I'm going to uh, start by making sure the jam nut is loose. We loose, use a three-quarter inch wrench for that. And when we ship the pumps, the flow limiter is going to be backed all the way out to provide full flow. So I'm, what I want to do is check to make sure that flow limiter is fully backed out. And I'll do that, and it's going to come to a hard stop. So that tells me that the flow limiter is backed all the way out. And as I turn the flow limiter in, I'm going to reduce flow. On a PVG 150 and a PVG 180, it takes 14.5 turns to reduce the flow from 100% to 0%. So that's approximately 7% displacement reduction per revolution. There's a slight dead band in the adjuster. So the first turn or so, it's not going to have any resistance. But when I come up against a control piston, it'll be very clear that I've made contact because I'll start compressing a spring at that point. So to reduce flow by 7%, it's going to be one complete revolution. And I can definitely feel the resistance of that spring. Rotate that one revolution. That will reduce flow by 7%. So at that point, I have my flow set, and I'm able to lock down the jam nut. And that's the procedure for setting the flow on a PVG 150 and a PVG 180.